Hi everyone, this is Sarah from Ocean Dreams Energy Healing and I'm coming live for the Spring Equinox weekend, right? And I'm going to give Facebook just a couple minutes to let people know I'm on. I know this is kind of last minute unplanned. Um, I hope everyone's having a great weekend. And it looks like someone might be on. Let me know. Um, Tell me in the comments, give some hearts or share. Um, what I wanted to do was um, pull a couple cards for the group, for the group in general, the collective, um, for spring energy, and then also talk about a great oil that I've been working with today. Um, hi, Mary. Um, let me see. I have two card decks here. So one is the Arcturian deck, which I'm going to pull a message from. And then the other one is the um, Keepers of the Light. So let's see which comes up first. Aloha, Christine. Oh, oh thanks for sharing. Thank you, Married. So these are group messages I'm going to pull because I'm not going to be on here too long. Oh, and cards are falling right out. And of course, we're speaking of springtime and I'm going to be talking about some rose energy and geranium energy with the oils. So the card that we got was Quan Yin and Quan Yin is represents the color pink, love and compassion. Um, to me, she's like springtime energy because you think of um, the lotuses, you know, blossoming and opening up and um her message is care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved and offer a helping hand. So kind of hard to see with the little starry background there, but yeah. There's Quan Yin or Guan Yin. Um, there's different spellings for her name, but I really love her energy for springtime. Um, she's like almost like Aphrodite energy, except not that focus on like the lust and the beauty side. She's focused more on like the beauty of um, being like a caregiver, a mother, um, even a grandmother, you know, um, showing your compassionate nature to all and just being surrounded by flowers, being surrounded by things that, that help uplift us and make us feel beautiful. So um, Kuan Yin's our first message for the day. And then I'm going to pick a card from the Arcturian deck next. Mary said, I love Kuan Yin. I still have the little one I got from you two years back. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I have not gotten a, a Kuan Yin statue yet, but I have like a little Buddha statue. But I do want to get a Kuan Yin eventually because I love her energy. I had a painting like a little painting I printed up of her and I had that on my altar for a while but that was before we moved and I have not found it yet so I think for springtime is the message I need to get up a picture of her so some more pink pink and purple here but this message is simplicity and I think that goes hand in hand in Quan Yin's energy because um just something simple as like smelling the roses, looking at a flower, being in nature and connecting to Mother Earth can do wonders for our soul, right? We don't have to do fancy, you know, classes or meditations or all that stuff. I mean, they're great tools, right? But when you just really need to connect quickly and, and bring in good energy in your life, just keep it simple, right? You know, just sit and smell your favorite oil and just go with the flow for a few moments. You know, you don't have to do something extravagant. You don't have to sit there for an hour um, to meditate, right? You can still achieve results by keeping it simple and doing a quick five minute meditation um, or five minutes of Reiki or Arcturian healing or whatever it is that you do. Um, because those five minutes can seem like an eternity sometimes when you're really focused and you're grounded and you're just bringing yourself back to center. And so keeping it simple, you know, staying grounded, 
you know, connecting to your roots, right? Like the tree here on the simplicity um, card, um, connecting to Kuan Yin and the energy of love and compassion um, is just like the best thing to do when you're stressed or tired or overworked, um, overwhelmed with all of life that's going on, right? So um, I thought those are two beautiful messages. And I'm actually looking at the simplicity card and right above the tree is like, it looks almost like, probably like an owl um, spreading its wings and flying above it. So the owl brings wisdom and there's simplicity and wisdom, isn't there? Um, so I think that's a great message for the spring going forward right now. Just keep it simple take things easy, go with the flow. We're going into Aries energy right now. And Aries is all about action, right? And I was talking about my, um, with this, with my husband earlier, like Aries makes us want to do everything, right? So we'll start a bunch of projects and do all this here and do all that there. And then you find that you're not completing anything because you're just go, 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 go. So just keep it simple. Start with one idea, one project, one goal, one affirmation that you want to work on right now. Um, maybe one crystal you're going to focus on or one oil or one goddess that you're going to talk to, you know, just simple ways to connect. And that will make your life, you know, a lot easier and less stressful. And um, hi, Yvonne. Um, so one of the messages or crystals that came forth right before I came on that I felt went with the energy of the oil I was going to talk about, which goes with Kuan Yin and the idea of simplicity, um, is rose quartz. And rose quartz sometimes is so underrated because some people, they get all these fancy crystals and they think they have to work with some crystal that has this mystical, magical name and all these properties. But working with something like rose quartz can be so powerful. I've done some of the most powerful heart chakra healing just using a simple rose quartz and that's it and no other crystals. So coming back to simplicity, don't feel like you need to do so many things, right? Just choose one thing to focus on. And rose quartz is great because it not only heals our heart chakra, which our energy, you know, all stems from the heart, right? Um, but it really brings your whole body into balance because when you can tap into that energy of love, then everything just seems better, right? So another crystal I wanted to show you, and I'm going to talk about the oils in a second, is Unakite. And Unakite is another crystal that's really overrated or underrated that many people don't really typically use. It, you know, rose quartz and unakite are pretty like uh, affordable crystals, you know? Sometimes people feel like they have to have the most expensive crystal to um, it be most effective, but it's not true, you know? And unakite's a great one. Unakite works with Mother Earth energy, which connects to Kuan Yin, which connects to love which connects to healing on so many different levels. It's great for that mothering aspect of us or caregiving aspect. It's great for a mama going through pregnancy. It's great through, you know, it's great for healing, not only um, ourselves, you know, women, but healing mother earth. And because with the green and the pink, it connects to the heart and um, the heart chakra and the root chakra too. Um, because I like also to use green crystals at, at my feet sometimes because it's it grounded. It reminds me of the green grass or the green leaves on the trees, right? So you could use it for both. And the pinkish colors, almost like a salmon color to me. So that could also be used as the root, like similar to the red color family. So Unakite is a great crystal that can be used for multi, multi purposes. And so I want you to think about simple crystals or simple oils that you can use at this time. Um, and so the one oil I'm going to talk about, I have my essential oil class today. I'm not selling them yet, but, um, after I get my certification, I'll be able to, but I highly recommend, 
um, the oils through my class that I'm taking through my teacher, Katie Shell, and she sells Wisdom of the Earth. They're oils from Sedona area. Um, they work with the energy of the oils. It's not an MLM, they're a small company. Um, they actually focus on both the metaphysical and the um, science you know, of it. And that's why I really, I research and I really fell in love with the company and their ideals. You know, they work with the, the, the um, divas of the plant kingdom. And that's why eventually I'll be able to sell them. So I'm really excited. But in our class today, we focus on rose and rose geranium, aka geranium, and um, rosemary as well. But geranium, I learned, is like, well, this is one oil I've used a lot. So for any PMS issues or menopause issues, any type of hormonal imbalances, you just put a little geranium like on your solar plexus or on your navel, and it just brings in that calm. And like using it with clary sage, it, unless you're pregnant, don't use it. Um, it bumps things up a notch. And just instant calm and instant balance. And geranium is has that similar energy to rose, but like a bottle of geranium, um, if you got one of those big 15 milliliter bottles, is like $30, $32 where a rose, little bottle of rose, like a two milliliter is like almost up $200 because it's so pure and it's so expensive for them to produce a rose oil, right? So geranium is one of those that it's a more affordable um, oil. It's still working with that same heart chakra energy as rose. Um, it's great. I'm going to read you some of the things because I'm really excited about this oil. I've been using it already just for my um, PMS issues, but now I know that I can use it for so many other things. So it's antibacterial. Um, it's a great antidepressant. Um, like I said, it has a similar energy to rose oil. It helps imbalance or helps with um, brain imbalance. So you could put a, a little bit on your crown there and it'll help kind of help the hemispheres come together if you're feeling really scattered, um, which a lot of that links up to hormonal, hormonal issues as well. Um, it's great for um, skin health. Um, you could use it on areas, dry areas of your skin um, for life transitions. Um, it's a morning harmonizer, so it uplifts you in the morning. It's great to put this on. My teacher says that she uses this one almost daily, so I thought that was great to have. Um, it also could be used for liver, your liver support, and great to put on kids on the bottom of their feet just to help bring in that calm and balance for them. Um, also for kidney stones, your adrenals, which you would put on your back, you know, lower back. And um, it's just a great stone for safety, security, and bringing in that peace and calm. So I just wanted to send you guys a little energy of the rose geranium. So I'm going to put a little bit in my hand. Even though I used it today, I've been really calm today. So that's great, right? Especially when you have three males in the house that are hyped up playing the video games. <laughs> so if you want to just take a moment to ground and connect to Mother Earth and take a deep breath in and out. And I'm inviting the spirit, the Deva of Geranium to please be with us now and to send you all that loving energy asking for balance in your life asking for your vibration to be uplifted just like rosewood rose is actually the hot one of the highest frequency oils but geranium works just as great just as wonderful so we're sending some of that high frequency energy to you. And just imagine Kuan Yin here with us right now. And her energy is here sending us that love and compassion 
intermingling with the rose geranium and we'll also bring in that rose quartz and unikite energy as well and sending that to you for spring and for balance during entering this fire sign of Aries. Not all of us um, handle the fire energy as well. <laughs> so allow that to flow to you for balance. And I'm also calling in the pink dragon of love for her to send her loving energy your way burning away any hate or fear or anger that you may experience or that you may have picked up from anybody else. And just allowing love to flood your senses, your being, every molecule of your body. You could see her pink flame flowing over you, calming you, and bringing you a sense of peace and calm that you haven't felt in a while. And so with all these energies, we give thanks and gratitude for the love that we receive, the blessings that we receive for the spring equinox and the rest of the year. And take another deep breath in and out. And just, you could even put your hands on your heart and just soak all that good energy in. And just know that you're loved, you're healed, and you're blessed. Um, okay, Mary said she had a go-to, so it looks like everyone left. So anyone watching the replay, I hope you enjoyed um, this short meditation, the energy of the Unakite and Rose Quartz. And if you um, came on later, the cards were Quan Yin energy and also the energy of simplicity. So I hope you all have a beautiful spring season. And um, if you have any questions about the crystals or the oils or working with Kuan Yin, one of the things I love to do is a Kuan Yin heart healing session. And so that is $44 USD. And um, we spend about um, 44 minutes doing just focusing on your heart. And I use the crystals, the oils, um, also calling in energy of Kuan Yin, of course, and anything else that comes up that resonates with the energy of love in that vibration for you, because oftentimes I'll pick up on certain things as I'm doing the session for each person. And we'll also do a little clearing with selenite because it's great to clear first, right? And then bring in that energy to infuse your body with the love energy. So um, if you're interested in that, just let me know. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful um, spring equinox this weekend. And just take the time to honor yourself and honor your family and your loved ones, your friends, even if they're from afar. And um, many blessings to y'all. I'll see you soon. Bye.